Patrick Herb here for UWBadgers.com at the Kohl Center, where the number seven Wisconsin Badgers just wrapped up their only practice here in Madison before traveling to Chapel Hill to take on the number five North Carolina Tar Heels as part of the 2011 Big Ten ACC Challenge. We talked to a couple of the guys after practice to see how excited they are for such a challenge. Yeah, it's definitely a fun opportunity. Um, you know, Dean Smith Center, it's a, uh, or the Dean Center, is that what it's called, right? Yeah, I mean, I don't even know. It's just kind of where North Carolina plays. It's, uh, it'll be fun. It'll be a fun experience. Just kind of see all the banners and hopefully go in there and get a win. Looking forward to it since the summertime. You know, I'm not going to lie about it. Um, it's something you always look forward to, but uh, just taking it one day at a time. We've done that. You know, we're 6-0 and right now, and so we're looking forward to going there and get another one. Uh, did the team get to watch North Carolina's game against UNLV on Saturday night at all? Yeah, we did. You know, after our game, we got on the bus and, you know, happened to be on TV, so we got to catch the whole thing on the way back. And, you know, it was a good way to, you know, come on home, watch, watch a little TV, and it had a good game on. So we got a little scouting report in early as well, and, you know, it turned out to be a pretty good game, and we got to see, you know, just how good they are and, you know, what we can do to stop them. The Badgers enter Wednesday's game with a perfect 6-0 record and a streak of six straight wins over ACC teams overall. Yet this team knows that if they're going to get their first road win over a top 10 team since 2007, they're going to have to do so against a storied program like North Carolina. Is North Carolina a team that growing up even you've followed and watched and admired some of their guys? Yeah, somewhat. I mean, Michael Jordan, you know, that's always a big one. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I went to one of their camps. I've been out there. I've been to Duke. Um, so, yeah, I mean, it's, it's, they got a big history. So, yeah, I'm looking forward to getting in there and having my family there and playing in front of them. Based on what the scout team showed today and what you've seen of them, what do you kind of expect to be some of the things that are going to be thrown at you in terms of up-tempo or transition? Um, just length. They're going to have a lot more length, um, up-tempo, get back. Uh, nothing that we don't really practice, you know, any other day. But, yeah, I mean, just being ready for the length is something you can't really assimilate, you know, in scout. But, yeah, you just got to be ready for that. There's being a lot made of you facing Kendall Marshall in North Carolina starting point guard. Do you take that as a special challenge and do you look forward to that opportunity to somebody that you know personally and know he's also a great player? Yeah, definitely. It's always fun to, to play against other great players or other good players or, or whatever. And, um, you know, it's, it's, it's just fun. And, but, I mean, the, the mic, that's pretty microscopic in, in terms of the game. Obviously, at the end of the day, I want to win, so I really could care, care less if, if he goes, you know, obviously if he goes for 20 and, and I go for two or whatever it is and we win, I'll, I'll be happy with that. But, you know, it's just it's pretty microscopic. I'm just trying to go out and try and help my team win however I can. Your top conference, that's going to happen. And, um, you know, I think nationally people are seeing that, that we're consistently year in and year out on top of the conference. And, you know, to be able to play team, like teams like Duke and Carolina, who are, you know, probably, you know, top the country um, from people's standpoints, it's, it just shows how good we can be. And, you know, we're going to go in there trying to win, not just play them. So um, hopefully we can repeat what we did, uh, you know, Duke a couple years ago. The Badgers and Tar Heels will tip off at 8.30 p.m. on Wednesday night. You can watch the game live on ESPN or go to uwbadgers.com for complete coverage, including a live blog from courtside. Thanks for watching uwbadgers.com.